not see. In Mark 1 35, we are told that a great while before day, Jesus went to a solitary place and he prayed. Do you understand? These things, if you are in the public, when he comes to do miracles, you will never see them. When he's teaching in public, you will never see the great while before day, what he did before. When we call you, we have flow prayer on Tuesday. Interestingly, our flow prayer began this, uh, this morning. Uh, yeah. Yes. Season 3 of the flow prayers began this morning and will continue on Friday 4 a.m. to 7 a.m. You won't join because you don't know that the, the background and the backbone of any public display for, of Christianity or the kingdom of God is based on some hitting long hours of prayer before the day breaks. You, you chew your yawning as though it's meat <laughs> and swallow it. I don't know whether it's the end of the sleep. And then you wash your face. No, you are going to find something to eat so that you can go to work strengthened. Ghana for breakfast is kenke and fish. Kenke and wache and whatever. It's like when we, even in the hotel, it's like when we eat that, then we feel what? You feel you have stamina for the day. Most of us sleep a lot during the day because you are too heavy with your breakfast. I mean, when I eat kenke, no, then I, I even I don't eat the whole day till the evening. Oh, but she ni yefu kakra no ba. Kenke kwa. Today I told some workers that they should give them two balls of kenke when they come to work. They were laughing. I was wondering why they were laughing. Then they said, "Oh, two balls of kenke there is sa, but four. <laughs> but of course they are heavy duty." manual workers so they may need something heavy but who we'll call office and i will crap your kegari bean stew with curry mixed and then fried uh, yeah yes with boiled egg and then you have so bolo and fruits to to wash it down <laughs> <laughs> before you start the day's work oh, you are holding a, 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 a rubber full of of uh, gari beans to you it's a starter pack now you go and sit down you fall asleep yeah so when we are calling you for dawn prayers we are starting at four we are going we say oh Oh, there is Elio. If I, if I wake up, I'll, I'll, I'll be useless in the office. <laughs> if you understood the gradatum, there's a little poem. Is it called the gradatum? It says what? Then, um, the, the, the heights that great men reached and kept were not attained by sudden flight but they while their companions slept toiled onward through the night yes stoneboy and this new girl who has come with uh, uh, Ebony look alike us. Ebony music, eh? When the shape, yes. Mm. As following the same spirit. Those are the songs you. Want. But you see, the heights that great men attained and kept were not attained by sudden flight. It's not like they just go down. Because that's what we want. Suddenly, no one will prosper. Suddenly, no one. When your baby breakthrough boom, you see, 
fast prosperity. No, na a ja amam. A bum amam. Can you a pesoka bet? Name my bet. Why uh, bet? Yes, power bet. Super bet. That's what has come now. So, everybody can predict 2 1. Two goals will be scored first half, one goal in the second half. 2 1. That's it. 2 2. 2 before 60th minute and 2 after 60th minute. So, when you get it correct, then you get. I don't know how much they get. Eh? Funny. Oh, my God. Samson, how much do they get? <laughs> eh? They get more. How much? Hundred thousand. Hey, depend on what? The odds. What is the odds? Every game. Hey, Monkwaya Momas. You cry a probability near you cry. We have not taken it into soccer, man. But you don't understand probability. How come you know odds? Anyway, so I'm telling you that ministry, people who are standing doing things, there you can see a prophet standing there from 4 a.m. Definitely he would have woken up before 4 a.m. And and definitely would have read some scriptures and looked at something before coming there. And he is there praying himself. Not that he has given a topic and has left to go and sleep and come and continue. He is there. You can see that the man is standing on his feet. Now, Okra, what Timpema? What that bear 30 minutes? What, what Pompeo? Two minutes. What that 20 minutes? No, Pompeo? Three minutes. Then you sleep another one hour. By the time the three hours is finished, you have prayed for only 10 minutes. They say, go for your communion, not Dimrika. I'm going for my communion. Communion, dear. By all means, there's going to be an impartation. Oh, God, something will happen from the communion. Yeah. But you don't understand that a great while before the our Savior, the author and finisher of our faith, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, the one who was and is and is to come, the one who laid this path for us, a great while before day, he went to a solitary place and there he prayed. That's the, these are the inner workings of ministry and the background to people's spiritual power. Now, yebi, now per power. Oh, if I take the communion, pe, all the three hours prayers, no, I gain it. This is this is the shortcut that Satan presented to Jesus. He said, "If you bow down and worship me, I'll give you everything." You see, Jesus, when he died, rose again, and resurrected. Everything was put under his feet. Of things on earth, of things in heaven, of things under the earth. Satan came and showed him only the things on earth. And said, if you bow down and worship me, I'll give you the things on earth. I don't go and let them beat you like that. Don't stay too long here. He had not even preached. He had not done it. He said, don't come and toil and struggle and do a lot of work here. Just me and you, we are here. If you bow, no, everything in, on earth is under you. I give you. It was delivered to me. I can give it to you. Shortcut. So, brothers, this is all I can share with you today. I'm, I don't want to go beyond this time because I'll continue next week by God's grace on Sunday depends on if you are here but if you are not here no problem but I'll still do but let me tell you this that there are background things they don't they don't show in the open you don't know the meetings that go on beyond the service yes and after you don't know how people are trained so sometimes when we say this person is a shepherd or a pastor you don't respect them but they will be here in the night they are here being trained they are learning they are learning books they are reading they are watching videos they are doing all night they are praying they are going to the garden they are all they are writing exams they are failing they are writing again they are failing they are writing again they are failing they are writing you may not see all those things 
when somebody is called a shepherd, you see, ah, this church, you know, I feel they will be a bear shepherd. You see, that's your stupidity that is manifesting itself in red and yellow dress. Ah. Crass journalism. <laughs> Listen to me. When you are available, you learn so many things of the ministry. Okay, let me read three more. You, you will learn how to be a traveling minister. You will learn that ministry has traveling in it. Movement. Not only from your house to the church. People travel. People go to different areas. There are people who live in Pokwase and they are in uh, Lakeside. That's where they have their center, embassy center. They live in Pukwase. They travel for ministry. But when you are just, you just come to church and say that, you will never know that there are people who are travel further than you sitting here. As you live at just uh, Nana Chrome behind me, I'll come and say the church is far. Tuesday is difficult to come because of the, when you come by the time, you say, you can't get a car and everything. You are living here. Somebody, then I say, we to go to here. So, I say, my car here. You can walk, but you won't walk. It's like it's far. It's, it's far. But you will be surprised if you were to enter. And because you are not available to, you don't relate with anybody to know people's story. Association. If you are to have some associations even in the church, your, your spirituality will change because you will see that you are doing nothing at all. I mean, and I, ah, you don't have a job. And I oh, every day I come and see you praying and, praying and you don't have a job. So how do you come? Oh, I walk. Oh, really? Oh, no. Okay, sorry. Thank you. Uh, we'll meet again. Then as we are going, you've been chastised in your mind with that little interaction. And by the time you are going, see that you are you've been influenced more by the spirit based on your association with another person who is also spiritual. Yes. You are not married. Hey, me too. I'm not married though. Hey, and you are in the crowd always singing very nice like that. Oh, so I realized that me too, then I'm not a fool. Because I can see that somebody too who is also like me is on fire just like me. I am encouraged you don't associate people travel for things apostle is here he's leaving tomorrow morning he's going to kenya not a, do you do you come from kenya no do you know anybody in kenya oh in friends pa pastors but do you have relatives there? not at all your father's relative no your mother's not at all. classmates no schoolmates no primary school no <laughs> you are going where to machakos Chakos, do you know that? I've been there once, yes. yes. Yeah. Based on what? Well, to do uh, healing Jesus. Ministry, he's been there once. Traveling at Afan Bay. No, Tabia, no, Yahiku, Kaka, Yahiku, Oba. Eh? We travel. When we say we are going to do crusade at room six, you will not appear. From here to here, room six, we walk. It's like you can just be part of something. You don't know what it means to travel for ministry. So that I can finish. He's going tomorrow as part of advance going to go and do ministry there. He's now moving from here in Accra. He's going to Machakos. If tomorrow you see that we have a big cathedral there, you say that you you, you say, oh church we, we 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 do well we do. But when we are sending people, you will say, eh, so what will happen to his wife? What will happen to what will happen to his wife? Your mouth like what will happen to his wife? Your my goodness has come this evening. Yes. <laughs>